So you've either downloaded a zip file or somebody sent you a zip file and now you need to extract the contents. You're on Windows 10, how do you do it? Stay tuned to find out. Hey everybody, Mike here with IT Pro TV, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to extract zip files on Windows 10. Now before we get started, make sure you click on that subscribe link down below, click on that bell so you'll get notifications and won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. All right, so let's say that you have either downloaded a zip file or somebody sent you a zip file. Maybe they had a bunch of pictures they were gonna send you or whatever the case may be. You wanna extract them out, you're on Windows 10. How do you do it? Well, the great news is you don't have to install or download any additional software. It's all built into Windows 10. So join me on my screen here and let's take a look at how we can do that. Now I'm gonna open up File Explorer and I'm gonna find that zip file that I downloaded. So wherever you saved it to, or if somebody emailed it to you and you've saved that attachment uh, to your hard drive, to your My Documents, or if it's in your Downloads folder, go find that in File Explorer. All right, now I'm gonna click on Downloads because that's where mine is. And here you'll see my zip file, it's called zoomit.zip. And we know it's a zip file because of the three letter extension, the .zip. If you don't have file extensions being shown, you might not see that. You might just see the name Zoomit and not the extension. But if you look closely at the folder icon, there's a little zipper going up that folder. That indicates it's a zip file. All right? And you can see that column out here where it says type. And I can see it as a compressed or zipped file. All right. So let me zoom back out. And in order to extract that, I'm going to have to select it first. Now I want to show you something before I extract it because this is a little bit confusing and I think this is where people might get hung up. I'm going to double click on that zoomit.zip file and Windows allows me to go inside that zip file, right? Peek inside there and see what's inside that zip file. But here's the catch. Everything is still compressed and everything is still zipped up. I can't really use those files yet. In order for me be, to be able to use them, I need to extract them out. And I think this is where people get confused because they can see the files and you might be tempted to start double clicking on them, but Windows will give you a warning and say, hey, look, I need to extract them first before you can use them. Now, half the time Windows will help you out and it will extract them for you and then you can simply use them. But we wanna learn how to do it ourselves, all right? So I'm gonna back out one level so I can see that zip file again. And what you'll notice across the top of my file explorer, as soon as I select that zip folder, I'll see this extra menu show up. Windows normally hides it, but it says, hey, you've selected a zip folder. You might wanna see all of the tools that I have built in to play with zip folders. So let's click on that and see what we've got. And what you'll notice is it's pretty limited. <laughs> I have one little button right there that says extract all, which means, hey, unzip and uncompress that contents onto my local drive, all right? Uh, you can get the same option by right-clicking on that zip file and choosing Extract All. Either way will take you to the same place, the Extract Compressed Zip Folders Wizard, and it simply needs a location. All you have to do is tell it where do you want to extract these files out to. It'll fill in a default path right here. This is where Windows says it's going to put it. But if you wanted to change that, you could click the Browse button or type in a new location of where you want to extract those files. You also have the option to open up a brand new window. Oops, let's try that again. Uh, you also have the option to open up a brand new window once the extraction is done. You can say, hey, let me see those files once you've extracted them out, all right? And that is the default. So I'm simply gonna click Extract, and there you go. Notice a new window opened up, and I'm now seeing the contents of that zipped file but it's no longer a zipped file, right? If I back up one level, you'll see the original zipped file is still here, but the new folder I created with those extracted contents is that top one. There's no zipper on that. So that's it. You've extracted those documents or those files or whatever the case may be, and you can now use them. All right, now the next thing I wanna show you, a little bonus content here, because not only can we extract information out of zipped files, but we can create our own zip files. Let's say you want to send somebody a bunch of pictures, and this might've happened to you already. Uh, you run into a situation where you're trying to attach something in an email and it won't go. It says the attachment is too large or too many files. What you can do is you can create your own zip file and then attach that and send those over with your email. So let's check it out and how we can do that. I have, I'm gonna close this and tidy this up. 
I've got a folder where I went and grabbed some pictures. I called it Vacation Pics. So let's say I want to email these to somebody, but their email application won't allow me to send this many uh, pictures at one time, or they're too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of those pictures that I want to include, and I'm leaving one off intentionally, so hold on for that. I'm going to right-click on them, and I'm going to choose Send to Extract or Compressed Zipped Folder right there, all right? So I clicked on this first, Send to, and then choose Compressed Zip Folder. And what you'll see is it immediately creates a zipped file, and it gives it a name. It picks one of the file names. You can change that to test or demo, you know, whatever you want to call it. Inside there are those four pictures that I zipped up. So now you've created your own zip file. And not only that, if you want to add something to it later, I can simply drag and drop files onto it. And now notice there are five pictures inside my zip file. So that's a look at how we can both extract zip files onto our Windows 10 system, as well as create zip files uh, on Windows 10. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more content.